Greetings. I'm in a lovely yard in Western Ireland in a town called Kinvara. And being here inspired me to share with you just a quick sequence you can do pretty much wherever you are, outdoors, indoors, just to get things moving and grooving a little bit. So I'm gonna start with a little hip circles. Take your feet a little bit wider than hips distance apart. Get the biggest joint in the body moving around. A few times, one direction. And then the other direction. All right, and then come back into mountain pose. Now you've got a little movement going. Lift your toes, feel the base of your toes, your heels rooting down. Encourage your spine to lengthen up all the way up. And then let's get the spine moving a little. So a little bit of the standing kitten and calf movements, taking your spine rounding and then opening. Being careful that you're not rib thrusting, right? You're not moving just from the lower ribs, but really opening up in the front ribs. And to add a little, you can go in a circle as you do it. Just going around. And then add the arms actively a few times, back and forth, up and down. Rounding, internally rotating, opening, externally rotating. And then a few big shoulder circles. Get the shoulder blades involved. Just a few big circles. And then if you feel inspired and brave, if you're in public or at home, big asana. Take your arms wide, take your legs wide. Reach from the center of your sternum out through your fingertips. Take up a lot of space. Roll your arms so your palms face up towards the ceiling. With the shoulder blades firm. Take a gentle look to your left. Come back to center. Take a gentle look to your right. Come back to center. Bring your hands on your hips. Turn your right leg in, your left leg out. And go ahead and begin to bend the knee a few times. Bend and straighten. Up and down. Maybe a delivery truck will come by. All right, and then the other direction, right leg in, or left leg in, right leg out. Bend and straighten, getting a little more opening in the hips, which can be very rejuvenating. And then come back up and over to the first side, left leg, right leg in, left leg out. And take your arms up. Let's put some movements together. Look out over your left arm. Maybe move the spine a little bit up and down. Just getting all your parts moving. Then come back up. Bring your palms together. Go the other direction. Right leg, left leg in, right leg out. Traveling is making me a little confused on the different sides. But what's most important is moving. Virabhadrasana 2. Warrior two, long reach for the back leg. Maybe get the spine moving a little bit. Feeling how poses are never static. Always movement, even, even with stillness. All right, come back on up. Feel that big asana. One more time, nice inhalation. Roll your arms, your palms face up. Bring your hands to your hips. Make your way back to Tadasana Mountain Pose. A few more shoulder rolls. Ah, just a little bit of movement gets me ready. Going for the rest of the day. Hope you enjoy it as well. Thanks for watching. RaziYoga.com.